If you're a nurse or a doctor or any healthcare professional, you have to watch this video. There is a new bill being introduced in the Senate that's going to speed up the process of getting green card for nurses and doctors. Watch this video and I'll tell you everything I know about this new bill. Hello everybody. In this video, we'll talk about the new and exciting bill being introduced in the Senate called the Healthcare Workforce Resilience Act. And this is going to be introduced by uh, Senator Durbin and Senator Perdue. And this is going to be um, a life-changing bill for many, many nurses and doctors that are being uh, delayed by their visa process, trying to get visas and stuck overseas, not being able to come. I'm going to tell you exactly what it's about, who is going to qualify, and when we think it's going to pass. If you're here for the first time, make sure to subscribe to our channel Click that bell to be notified when new videos come, come to this channel. We produce videos every single week. My name is Jacob Sapochnik and I'm an immigration attorney located in San Diego, California. We help clients all over the, the US and all over, across the world. And we are very passionate about healthcare immigration. And in this video, I'm going to share the amazing news about this new upcoming bill. Let's talk a little bit about what's happening right now. As you know, if you're a nurse right now, and you're subject to uh, category EB3 of the visa bulletin, which means that you have to wait for your turn to be able to immigrate. Right now, nurses that have their petitions approved, their I-140s, even though their petitions are approved, they have to wait overseas for their priority dates to become current. And right now, the priority dates is stuck around January 2017, which is a long time, three years. And right now, we need nurses here. We need our hospitals are collapsing, COVID-19 is everywhere, and we need nurses and doctors to help us fight this pandemic. There's been a lot of movement behind the, the scenes in Washington to find a solution for that because it's not possible that nurses are gonna be waiting for so long. Uh, those nurses that have their petitions approved, I-140s, and they even license, you know, they pass their license exam, the NCLEX, they have their visa screens, they're not able to come to the United States because there are no visas. So the Healthcare Workforce Resilient Act is going to solve a lot of these issues. And again, this is not law yet. This is a bill that is being introduced in the Senate and it still has to pass the House you know, legislation. So it's not yet law, but and we'll talk about what happens uh, later on. But the fact that it's being introduced is huge because this shows us that somebody there in Washington understands that nursing crisis is real and we have to solve it, right? So what is this bill going to do? First of all, the bill is going to recapture 25,000 unused visas for nurses from other visa categories and make them available immediately for nurses, which means it's going to eliminate the backlog right away. Those nurses that have their approved I-140s are going to be able to come in right away uh, get their appointments at the U.S. Embassy and come here and start their jobs with the hospitals. It's also going to recapture an additional 15,000 visas for doctors, specifically doctors from countries that are behind in their, in their visa bulletin. And as well, those doctors are going to have the same conditions. They're going to be able to come immediately without waiting for um, their visa uh, bulletin to be current and for visas to be available. So these are huge things. In addition to that, making those visa current, the bill is also going to allow the family members of those nurses and doctors to get their visas at the same time. This is huge. This has never happened before, meaning that they know that these nurses are going to come to the U.S. to work here. They need to have the peace of mind that they can bring their families. So the bill is going to make visa available for family members of those nurses and doctors as well. This is huge. In addition to that, it's going to allow for embassies to give priority to doctors and nurses when they're scheduling those interviews. So even if their visas are current, they still have to attend the visa interview at the embassy. And sometimes it takes a while to get a visa interview. Under this bill, nurses and doctors are going to be able to expedite their appointments using a special procedure to get their interviews sooner than later. The other thing that bill is going to do is it's going to create a premium processing process in the US when you file for the I-140, when you file for uh, extensions if they're here on, 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 their, uh, on their visas, 
you can do premium processing just like they have for other applications in the US specifically for nurses and doctors to get those cases approved immediately in less than two weeks so then those nurses are going to be able to schedule their appointments at the US Embassy quickly as soon as possible the other thing this bill is going to do which is something amazing is that as long as the crisis continues as long as this, as this pandemic is um, is on and we are under what is called a national emergency which we are the president declared that this will continue that expedited process for nurses <clears throat> getting their visas current is going to continue and something even more important that when the president will declare that this crisis is over so let's say july or august or september whatever that happens he'll set up a date and say from this moment there's no more national emergency 90 days from that date it will continue that process so let's say if the date is july 1st 90 days from july they'll continue to process those visas on an immediate basis and have those visas current to make sure that the nurses can continue to come here even though the crisis is uh, will, will be officially over in the u.s so this is this is just huge huge news for nurses uh, we'll be getting a lot of emails and calls and some of people that heard about it and i wanted to make a quick video just to explain what this bill is about now once again this is a bill that is being introduced right now to the senate it's still gonna have to pass the vote over there and then the house is gonna have to vote on it and then the, the both bills are gonna be reconciled so there's a few things that are gonna happen we think it's probably gonna take at least another two months maybe 45 days they're really going to work fast on this and the other thing is that we don't think it's going to pass as one individual bill they're probably going to take this bill and attach it to a bigger legislation to give it more chance to pass because they don't want to take a chance they don't want to they don't want it to be to fail right so they're probably going to take the little bill attach it to a bigger bill maybe like um, healthcare spending or whatever and then use that to make that legislation pass and make it a law and immediately we can start using it so right now we just wanted to announce the introduction of the bill we will be obviously making more videos as we have more information as to what's happening with the bill how it moves but remember key factors eliminate the backlog of um, EB3 create a premium processing to speed up visas create a procedure to get priority for visa appointments for nurses and doctors and include family members in those green card applications this is once again we will update you once we know more uh, for those of you that are watching and they're new to our channel make sure you subscribe to our channel click that bell to be notified if you're on instagram follow us on instagram and on tiktok and we have a private facebook group we created specifically for this announcement i already announced this in the private facebook group so if you want to join the group and hear more news and be the first to be alerted there's a link in the description of the video please join the group so we can continue the conversation over there so thank you for watching comment below let us know what questions you have about this video and also about this particular huge announcement. And uh, we'll see you in our next video. Thanks for watching.